Welcome back, LHS. I'm Millie. And I'm Charlie May, and this is your Blue, Blue Devil, Devil News. News. This week is Red Ribbon Week in support of substance abuse prevention. Tomorrow's theme is layoff drugs, so bring out your Hawaiian shirts. Uh, just choir seven poinsettias for one more week. A six and a half inch pot is thirteen dollars, and an eight inch pot is twenty five. The funds will help pay to transport the choir to Dollywood in April. LHS softball is hosting a spectacular softball camp today and Thursday, from five thirty to seven thirty. The camp is open from ages six to twelve. Teachers received an email from Coach Atwood with the sign-up link. Today's Down Syndrome Awareness Fact is NDSS uses the preferred spelling of Down Syndrome rather than Down's Syndrome. Down Syndrome is named for the English physician John Langdon Down, who characterized the condition but did not have it. Skills USA Auto will meet after school every Wednesday in room 8, A804. Now let's check in with Mage for the weather. Mage, are you there? Yeah, guys, I'm here. Oh, okay. Today's high is 75 with a low of 47 with a 98% chance of rain. Tomorrow's high is 59 with a low of 43, and there's a 10% chance of rain. Back to you two. Yeah. Thanks, Mage. In local news, Music City's Multicon is Nashville's largest annual gaming comic, cosplay, and pop culture convention is taking place October 28th through the 30th in the Expo Center at the fairgrounds this year. A few people who will be there are David Finch, Metal Jesus, Ginger O. Snap, and more. There will be vendors, panels, tabletop games, video games, esports, tournaments, pin, pinball tournaments, cosplay contests, and other events. Tickets can be purchased online or at the door. The three-day pass is a discounted rate in Kids' tickets are even lower in order to bring the whole family. The Lost Boys premieres today at the Capitol Theater. Doors open at 5.30, tickets are $5, and concessions will be available. The Lost Boys is about a mother and two sons who move to a small town. The town is full of bikers and mysterious deaths. The boys make two friends who claim to be vampire hunters, while the older boy is drawn to a gang of bikers and a beautiful girl. Merrick Bell has proposed an ordinance to the City Council. The ordinance will approve the purchase of the property just south of the ex existing city parking by the square. The lot will be used for additional parking for the square. The Council will vote on the ordinance on November 1st. Nada Evan with sports. Thanks, y'all. Senior night is this Friday as our football team takes on Warren County for their last regular season game. The game starts at 7 and the student section theme is pink out. At the cross country regional meet, freshman Rafe Ayer qualified for the state tournament with a time of 17:43 for his three-mile race. Rafe will run at the state will run at the state tournament on November 4th at Hendersonville. The Chicago Bears smashed the New England Patriots with a score of 33 to 14. Justin Fields of the Bears threw for 179 passing yards and one touchdown. Bailey Zappi of the Patriots threw for 185 yards and one touchdown. The Memphis Grizzlies won against the Brooklyn Nets yesterday with a score of 138 to 124. John Morant led the Grizzlies with 38 points, 7 assists, and 8 rebounds, shooting 12 for 22 from the field. Kevin Durant led the Nets with 37 points, 4 assists, and 5 rebounds, shooting 14 for 20 from the field. The Grizzlies take on Kings this Thursday in Sacramento at 9 p.m. That's all for sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, Evan. That's all we have today for you, LHS. I'm Melly. And I'm Charlie May. And this has been the news to you from, from the, the White and Blue. blue.